Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. You're with Boo, you one and only. You already know what it is. You already know what to do. We're with another video. And by today's thumbnail title, you already know what's going on. We about to get right into the tea. We about to react to a video. Not just any video. It's Carmen's Click. And this is season two, episode one. So we are about to react to this. Running to you, you the one. I have not watched season two yet because I want to do reactions and I actually still have a reaction video that I need to upload of the season one finale but that will actually be on my couple's channel with my boyfriend so you guys will have to stay tuned um it's to him watching me win carmen's click and be officially make carmen's click so that's really fun so i can't wait for you guys to see that but you guys need to go hit the link below and go to our couple's channel if you want to see that we also have some great videos um we have a smackster facts video that we still have to film um and we also have the chip challenge so we actually have a couple chips, so I think I'm going to do a hot chip challenge for my channel and for that channel over there. So yeah, and it won't just be us on the channel over there. It'll probably be with his brother, but you guys will just have to stay tuned. Um, but yes, we are going to go to Carmen's channel right now and we're going to get right into this reaction video. So yeah, hopefully you guys have been watching. Make sure you go subscribe to my girl because she's on the road to 2 milli. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment if you're new here. Welcome to my channel. Stay tuned. I have a lot of content in store. Your girl's just been busy, but I'm working on getting some time off. <clears throat> but yes, welcome to my channel. I'm Boo. This is my lovely channel, and I have a couple's channel below. It's only got one video so far, so you guys will have to stay tuned. But yeah, I have a lot of content coming for over on this channel as well. So make sure you subscribe. Um, and yeah, we're about to get right into this video. Look at me just mugging. This episode gets crazy, y'all. Like, this episode, this is drama. So get ready, grab your popcorn. And you just see me mugging back in the corner because honestly, I'm like, what the? F if you guys don't remember from season one, when the one day when Alicia came back and then they staged all that, I'm just in there like, what the hell is going on? And honestly, I didn't watch anybody's reaction videos, so I didn't really know. Oh, uh, but like, don't let me spill the tea. Hold on. like on some real vibes like I love when cats speak like I just be sitting there listening because she just speaks so much real and you can tell she like she stand behind the what what she say like um I don't know how to put it like you can feel when she speaks about something you know it's she's passionate about it because you can feel it yourself like you can feel what she's talking about maybe if you didn't even go through the same situation or maybe not having that same vibe at that moment but she gonna make you feel that vibe like I look like I need to go get a tan. That's what I do know. Your girl need to go get a tan. So we are back and we are back with the official Carmen's Click. Carmen's Click! You know Big C's because we in Carmen's Click, baby. I'm kind of looking disappointed because a lot of stuff. Okay, I was like, okay, what's going on? Like, I was like, what the hell? Like, what is. I thought it was about to be a plot twist. I was about to be like, oh, she about to, like, win. Like, what is. I thought it was about to be a plot twist. I was about to be like, oh, she about to, like, wean some more of us out when she said. I'm a little 
you heard her. Like, so I was just like, what? Like, what's going on now? What happened in between releasing Karna's Twin first videos? And, you know, you can't just sense the vibes, the, the... But, you know, like, I, I'm not even just gonna go into detail, but, like, I have, like, actually hung out with them when I'm out there, but, like, I don't live out there, so I don't begin to, like, spend a lot of time with the girls and, like, do stuff. So, like, I didn't know that, like, all this was going on, and I also don't really pay attention. Like, I... Not to be rude or anything, but I'd be busy, so I don't watch a lot of YouTube. Um, so I don't really get to catch up on some of their videos. I do watch some of the girls' videos, but I didn't miss the reaction video, so I didn't even know what they was talking about. Energy, or it won't make you think of like, huh, who can girls? Oh, it's some of the same thing. So, you know, I, I, I honestly think like how you mean like with being fake, phony, fraud, yeah, or you mean like on the good side, not bad side. Because I honestly didn't like the fact that I always get an opportunity for everybody to talk, to tell me how you feel, you got questions, where you didn't like about something, that da with the everybody like, no, we're good, if they got questions to do, ask. But see, when they do the little reaction videos, or wanna say something in the comments, it's like, they got so much shit to say. And oh, so like, you guys just, uh I was like so confused so like that's why you just see me mugging the whole time and I'm like we just got here like I just drove I guess most of the time I'm just driving for at like 6 a.m. or well I'm getting up at like 6 and driving there at like 7 8 and I'm like okay first thing we come in and she's telling us she's disappointed like well what happened what did I miss it's so much they want to say but to me now I'm looking like like you got some shit yeah, you could have said it to me. Yeah, like you could have said it to me in my face. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So it's like I don't like how people kind of use the word messy for some stuff. Like if you notice social media, or if you don't, when you say, and I feel this, like I feel Carmen when she say like the word messy and like what it revolves around when it comes to her platform, and like you don't want to associate that with Carmen. Because people are gonna, like, on social media, and not even just her, like, anybody, like, people will take one little thing that you say and run run with it like the wind and just create, like, a whole persona and a whole aspect about you. Um, and it could be used in so many different ways, you know what I mean? But, so, I can, I understand what she's, where she's going with this. Because remember, I'm in there, so I, and this already aired, so you already know, I was, you know, I'm, I was there, so I have feelings about the situation. And I was confused at first, so. Messi, Messi gonna automatically sound heavy and bad and like, oh, yeah. Also, that episode that she's talking about the reaction for, I wasn't there for that episode. So, when that whole situation also happened, um, that's why I'm like so confused about this all. Because I wasn't there for that episode. She definitely missed me. You know, and I don't like how some of y'all are kind of fake to the fact that y'all act like y'all lie for me, but then y'all say the little messages to other people. And then when y'all talking to other people, it's like, well, y'all call me this, call me that, I never do this, I never do that. See, I'm not gonna call y'all who's saying who's saying what, but I got screenshots of who said what and how y'all was saying it. And I was like, what? Yeah, that's why I talked to Kat and I was like, Maybe some of y'all do don't start to be here. And that's why I'm just going to keep... And then I was like, what? Okay, so, like, who messed up? Because she's saying you don't deserve to be here. So, like, what did you do? For real, because I feel like... What's the point? Y'all always, like, you know, every video, every challenge, every meeting or whatever, y'all pretend to be solid. Or I'm loyal to you. I'm this today. I would never do that. I would never do that. Mind you... Well, y'all tell me that I don't listen to it because we heard this in the boot camp. Every girl done said to me, I'm going to be silent. I'm going to be to a job interview. You're yeah. going to say whatever it takes to get the job. And You're going to say what that is. person want to hear. Look, Not the truth. Look, Carmen ain't going to call nobody out. I'm going to call somebody out. I don't know who. Big juicy booty. Whip. Okay, so, like, nobody, everybody was kind of like, I know, I watch Carmen's channel. So, I had seen Nayeli on um on Carmen's channel as her baddie so like I was kind of like okay maybe she's just co-starring you know because you know like Kat's kind of like her co-star on this um 
if you want to say, I guess she's like an, a, a part of production. So I was like, okay, maybe she's just coming in today to like do some stuff with us. So you guys got to watch. Okay. Whatever your name is. Okay. I just don't understand why you're going to call her Bessie if it wasn't for her. And Nayeli came with a huge, she was all like, a juicy booty or whatever your name is. I'm going to call you out right here. Like, okay, girl, we see the energy you coming with today. You wouldn't be here. Okay. okay. And I'm just well, mugging this whole time. The video when she said, gonna Look at Shanice's face in the left. Y'all are going to send me out. So I said it in the video when we were outside. Oh, she's messing. So when I did my reaction video, mind you, I went to Carmen and I sent her the part where I said I was messy, right? I did. Did I not? She was like, oh, I. I Big Guy just like. like and I'm just over there mugging, like, what is even going on? Okay. I look lost. No, 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 no. I knew what was going on. You, it wasn't even that I was calling you messy. I was just saying, like, in, in, that's definitely, like, known in the in the video. Like, I feel like everybody, I ain't even gonna do reaction videos no more because everybody gets in their feelings. Like, it's, like, no, it's not even their feelings. It's just, like, the word messy. People in the comments, they turn it the other way. So, and she told you me that, cool. I'll stop way. using the word messy. That's fine. That's something. We can talk about who, cool, which we did. Okay. Then so I'm don't make a reaction video. Still talk to her. Hey, like, can I still do the reaction video? But you still That's did it. Did. Yikes. Like, for real. I mean, this is also Juicy Booty's first time on YouTube. What's her name? What are you talking about? Like, that's what I did. I came to her to begin with before she even knew. I sent it to her before she even knew. Yeah, I mean, like, she have the permission to talk, but, you know, everybody was kind of feeling some type of way. They were like, who is she and who is she calling anybody out for? Which I feel that, but I'm just, like, sitting back observing all this. Like, one thing about me is, like, I'm an observer. Unless you disrespect me or you've come, if you're coming at me, like, then we got an issue. But I'm someone, like, especially with a room full of girls and girls with all very strong mindsets heads on their shoulders and strong opinions themselves like when there's an issue i'm not gonna con when there's so many other people contributing to the issue i'm not gonna contribute to myself because what is my voice gonna do in this situation you know what i mean so i'm kind of just like i'm observing because i'm also confused so yeah, I have so much shit to say to everybody through your DMs, messages, phone calls, FaceTime calls and shit. So when I bring somebody, yes, she knows she knows. She's okay, not talking to nobody. I can do whatever I want. I can do whatever I want. How's she gonna talk to somebody? She, she can't. She just needs to be confused. Who is this? 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 So we're like, what? Now y'all a click? So who was talking that shit? Who was talking shit? Sleep with y'all on social media. My friend, my friend, that's what I'm saying. Cat's just sitting there like, TikTok, TikTok, she about to, TikTok, TikTok, she about to pop. She brought Beyonce into this, guys. Carmen just brought Beyonce into this. It's getting real. It's getting real. Okay. And if you guys don't really understand, Carmen's only talking to Juicy Booty and about her reaction video. Shanice has nothing to do with this reaction video. So... Shanice is kind of just like popping off because the Juicy Booty's her friend, so she's kind of like uh, standing up for Juicy Booty. You know what I mean? <laughs> Me and Q are just standing back there like, y'all tripping. Y'all tripping. Well, that's what I was saying, and y'all tripping. I 
This was crazy, y'all. <clears throat> From being like right there during all this, they was just yelling back and forth. And I still haven't watched a reaction video, so I don't really understand what the freak is going on. Like, what did she say that was so bad? Shanice's vibe. Like, she really was such a vibe. Oh my gosh, not again! Like, oh my goodness. And it wasn't really her battle to fight, so it was kind of sad to see her go. You know? And Carmen's right. She's not going to keep begging you to come back multiple times. Like, Lord, it was just so much drama. Like, that's literally what it was. Like, girl, you didn't have to leave. I thought, I really wish she wouldn't have walked out them doors. Like, she should have just listened. Just like, uh, there was a time that, like, we all kind of got like our asses chewed for something and we just had to like listen to it, take it, say, okay, I'm sorry and go about it. Like, come on. But she was not there to play. So hold yourself. She want to talk, let her talk. I'm done. I'm done. Because it wasn't even supposed to be about that. It turned into that. My thing is, if y'all got some type of issues or anger, leave that shit at the door. Because she had her mic that came when she got a little attitude. And just because y'all ran out of social media, out of karma's clay, I don't care. They ain't got shit to do with here. If you want to talk, you can have a lot of talk. Just like as soon as you automatically start talking back, that automatically you feel like, damn, you're like, what the fuck is wrong with all of y'all? You could even look at her on her face today. You could even look at Ebony's face. Like, exactly what I said. Look at her face when, right now? You know? Like, you know, you don't even have to be like you normally are. There's something going on personally. Like, like, um, like, for one thing, 
I mean, I, I watched your reaction and I saw that you said that you and Shanice was talking about me behind my back, and you never addressed that. To what? What did I say? You said that in your reaction. What did I say? Mm -hmm. you I said, said, I said, I say it. If she's your friend or whatever, then when it comes to you being friends with her, talk about something that doesn't have nothing to do with Carmen's clique. I'm gonna tell you this because everything that y'all done said about Carmen's clique, it came back to us okay and there it is like you gotta be careful who you speak and talk to because you're going to get right back to them like y'all tripping They, like, this day was, like, honestly, this whole situation kind of drained me. Even though it had nothing to do with me, really, like, it drained me after that. It was like, we literally just got here and this is what we doing? And I feel her on that. Like, I don't think she really meant it in that. Like, Juicy Booty definitely didn't. Because I went back and I watched the, the episode and the whole situation they was talking about. And I get where she was coming from. It, it was definitely, like, she was giving a reaction to the video and that's what it was. But that word gets taken out of context too easily on, like, social media. So... I get where they're coming for, where Carmen and Kat are coming from, because they just want to also teach us, like, people will take what we say and manipulate that. So there was, like, a whole lesson behind this. They might have been saying it a little strong and a little, you know, like, trying to get it across us, and they was calling them out, but at the end of the day, if Shanice just would have stayed and listened to the conversation, it would have just been, okay, a life lesson. You know what I mean? Talk to my homegirl, I'm like, oh, you messy, uh, don't do that, you know what I'm saying? It was like that. It wasn't like, ooh, Carmen messy, ooh, Carmen made her do that, ooh, Carmen da da da. No, it was not like that. Like, I literally, when I'm in the video, I'm lying. 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 I'm
backlash so I get why she would want to this is gonna like that would be a lesson for us and the, something she would want to get across to us because it is super important to understand that social media can twist your words and it can definitely mess some things up you know like if you're not careful about what you say it can get a little sticky the same principle same shooting none of it but we already been through that. I said, Carmen was done and now I'm dropping videos. Now everybody got something to say. Everybody, everybody, everybody. So because of that, that's why I said, okay, today I'm not gonna be sweet with y'all. I'm not gonna be nice because I already got a lot of shit going on on my end. Yeah, and Carmen comes and puts up with us. That's like a whole day for her, like coming and dealing with us. She has her own shit going on at home. Like, you guys watch, if you watch YouTube, you watch Carmen, you watch, like, the T pages and see, like, all their drama they already got going on. So, like, she already deal with her own shit at home. So, she didn't come to play the, this day, like, for real. And I don't blame her because, you know, oh, and you're going to address shit. To come here today and still get the show going. It's not that I'm tapping you. What she got going on is something more, definitely more personal. Cause she had no matter to attack. I don't say she's your friend. She's trying to protect you, something. But nobody else say nothing. But if I was, I was almost. I was like, I was like, I was like, she really, Shanice really had nothing to do with it. She really just came in to stick up for her, for her friend, Juicy Booty. This is what I want to say. This is what I noticed. This is just me personally. This is not against anybody. Every time I see somebody go against me or Carmen, she's instantly ready to go against, against them with the opposite person. That's what I see, okay? Now, I could be wrong. I could be like, you know what? This is may, may not be that. But my thing is this, that at the end of the day... If you guys watch season one, you guys know what she's talking about. Like, with the whole situation when <clears throat> that happened in Poppy's house. Like, if you guys watched that. Do you using the word messy? We've had people use it in our face. So we're like, girl, that ain't messy. Ashley, Ashley did. Example. She said it in our face. So, so that's why, I think that's why it comes off different. Because Ashley, even the girl that just left, she said it in our face. But it was like, you quiet the whole entire time, like real 100. So for, but so for, I, I know, but for it to be, for it, for it to come out on that, that platform like that is what, what, what it kind of looks like. There's my head. We're gonna skip some of this because. I get where Juicy Booty's coming from, but I also get where Carmen and Carmen and Cat are coming from. Yeah, for real. They ain't lying. They just want entertainment. And, like, people really just be making up their own scenarios in their head. So, my thing is... My what people... The thing is, people only see... When it comes to, like, social media, people only see what we want them to see, not the full story. So, people run and fill in those holes with their own stories. The first time when I went through this shit, I was in the room for three days. Like, damn, I didn't know it was going to be like this. So yeah, Carmen's boot camp got hot for Kat. They're going to turn anything around that you say. If you said it in our face right here, they're going to be like, oh, she said in her face. It's going to be like nothing. It's going to be like nothing to them. Because that's like the big thing with the messy word. Carmen's boot camp really like stirred some shit up. Like they really went, turned around and tried to backlash at Carmen, Kat, Neb, like... And that's crazy, like. But when you go behind it. I don't know what, but they was butthurt about something. And it, like, was them being petty to even go back and say that. Because 
everybody is so genuine within that like community of people that shit crazy that's how they take it even if you did when Carmen said let you get this video approved there was a reason why she did that so when I went to her I basically sent her a part of the clip and I was like hey can I use this clip to promote my reaction video so I'm thinking like she's like no you not she's not saying no but she's saying get that video approved so I can use it to promote like just the little clips I'm not thinking she's talking about the whole video so that's where that came from so if I knew if I put two and two together and I thought she was talking about the whole video I would have just cut it out simple as that I'm gonna say that if y'all watch any show, no, not right. But what I'm saying is, if y'all watch any show, I was the show gonna go viral in a negative way because of once. Yeah, like, and people love drama. That's what goes viral is drama. So. Move to the Reliant Truly Free Flex Days plan. That's power. You away. All clear. Not the entire video. The whole video you can be sweet, talking a positive, what you learn, what you going through with the wolf. The moment you say something. 10 seconds something negative people want to look at it like anyway so because everything else i i just i just now saw it I, 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 everything else i was like dang that one piece honestly and i'm on the outside looking in and i'm on the outside looking in as this is her show it ain't my show i'm here to help her i ain't no fucking oh lordy lord i don't know if i'm gonna yeah i probably should just react to the whole video but it's getting a little long when it comes to this youtube shit they can get they can care less about me they not talking about me they not talking about y'all they may talk about y'all here and there but they talk about her so when they see when they see yeah this is carmen's show at the end of the day it's not it's not anybody's but carmen's show he say something or go against carmen in any way remember the girl said oh the whole time uh cat was uh think, acting like it was her show they tried to turn me and carmen against each other just something so small. And I'm like, what? Bitch, I ain't talk to you hoes outside of how I felt. But at the end of the day, I was solid. But one right move that she did amazing, she never said Carmen did amazing too. They turned that around into something. Yep, they always make something negative out of something positive. And that's the unfortunate thing. But, you know, it's just something you got to put up with. Negative. Just for me saying thank you. It's us against them. You see what I'm saying? And I understand you don't understand because like I was saying, in drama brings in people, right? So I was like, you know, she knew maybe this is her way of thinking that she can get. You know, somebody to come watch, right? I'm not I got eliminated in my game, like trying to start to make shit from my reaction video. Like, girl, it's just a reaction video, like. That's the thing. It's just a reaction video, like. So I, I have, I'm learning how sensitive, I'm learning how sensitive YouTube is, right? Yeah, there, and there's a lot of younger, I feel like a lot of younger kids that watch Carmen. And they take a lot of this stuff, like, really serious. So, they make it into something it's not. And they, she's got some strong supporters. And there's nothing wrong with that. Some of y'all, you guys are really strong. And you guys will freaking come behind Carmen, like, 110%. Like, y'all ain't here to play. Death threats. I got For threats. real. I'm going to blow your head off. Like, I got... Death threat. Cat got so much crazy lashback from Carmen's boot camp. It was crazy. You feel for it or you just not? And if you're not, I don't need you here. Just like that, you lose an opportunity just like that. Mind you, people is liking her because of who she is, how naturally she is. Yeah. You know about putting your business to something else. Shanice was a vibe. What was going to say or what was about to be. Like, we could have just communicated every time. We bring something new or we say something. It's not, I want you to learn. Because it can it's just a of, lesson. It could have been somebody else who will bring a comment fight you because you said that. It can always be somebody worse than what you're looking here. But y'all just so fucking my, like blow mind. It's like, who is she? Who is like, she? Ready she ready to fight. Like, there's no need. And she's been with us for a long time, too. FYI. Y'all know that. A lot of them was just ready to go on go, like, for real, when she came in. And it was like, Y'all chill. We don't know why she's here. And I mean, she's, it's not like she coming off rude or anything. Where you gotta learn how to talk to everybody. You can't talk to everybody the same. And I'm gonna tell you right now, like me and being her friend, she's from Chicago. You can't just, oh, well, who is this? Who is that? Well, she's like, that, 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 I'm, just, I'm just about to her. That's where that came from. Yeah, and uh, Shanice isn't wrong. She's just very, 
She's very strong-minded. Like, I love Shanice's personality, and I'm sure she's going to go far. I wish she wouldn't have walked out, though. She did liven she things up. And Shanice was like someone I feel like all the girls like in one way or another looked up to because everybody seemed to gravitate around her and there's nothing wrong with that because some people just like they said I don't remember if it was which episode it was but like some people glow different and Shanice glows different and I feel like in one way or another all the girls looked up to her admired her in like one way or another and I mean, her personality was great, so that was really sad to see her go. Episode, I treat everybody the same. Even if you give me a headache off camera, I still try to make sure. But one thing I will say, if I'm sure if um, some of us would have had that same attitude and tried to walk off set like multiple times like she did, we probably wouldn't have got begged to come back like she did. You are treated the same. I mean, like, she just has a good personality. I'm not saying that to be like, you know snarky or anything but like she definitely was a vibe and carmen vouched for her even after the stuff in the house like so if y'all ever feel the same way as her you can walk out the door right now because you don't know what's about to come we can be way worse than what just happened right now and y'all ready to snap and then y'all ready that showed me true colors because you've been telling me oh yeah carmen you really messy for this how am i messy when you don't even let me finish what i'm doing here can I say something too, like to make, piggyback that messy comment? My thing is, and I want this for everybody, it's not just for you, this for everybody. Do y'all not realize the reason why we allowed y'all to pick them? Because y'all spent more time with each other than we did. And what we learned from Carmen's boot camp is. Yeah, and I respect them for having us pick because, I mean, we are all going to have like a different reason than them. And I guess maybe they were trying to we lean away from the whole favoritism thing that happened with the boot camp. Um, so they wanted to see who we'd pick. And I mean, it was being in a hard position because if you guys didn't know or watch season one, I had to eliminate someone and it was hard. I mean, but you got to do what you got to do. How can we really, really, really be the ones to eliminate somebody in this short period of time and we haven't even got to connect to them as much as we would like to? So it seemed like, damn, y'all eliminated uh, Coco. Coco was the one that was cooking for everybody, cleaning for everybody, had everybody back. But when she got in front of Carmen, she was quiet and we eliminated her. You see what I'm saying? So the process of... Yeah, they see a different side of us than what we, because we be chilling with each other, like in between, like filming and stuff. Like when we're all there for a day of filming and we're all hanging out in between sets and whatever not. Like we be, we be spending time together. So I understand that. Elimination. No. about Carmen's click what were we all competing for to be in Carmen's click but to be loyal to Carmen like we that's a big thing and a big factor in Carmen's click is to be loyal so if you're gonna be wishy-washy go back and forth whatever the case may be like loyalty she was talking about her like we don't know those things but y'all know who you feeling and who you not feeling that was why we made that decision. It was nothing about being messy. It was all about saying, you know what, let them choose. Because last time when we chose... There was nothing messy about us eliminating each other. I mean, it's a part of the game. Like, and y'all liked it, didn't you? Y'all watched it, didn't you? Choosing. Now we call it messy, but y'all choose. It's like, you can't win, you can't lose. Yeah, I'm a good friend, and I got your back no matter what. Because now you turn against me. So if you turn against me just to protect your friend or whatever, I don't need you, obviously. Because somebody else can come out there and you don't even give a fuck if they say something to me or Kat. That's just exactly how I feel. And yeah. I'm going to stand on that. And the fact that she just said, oh, she stuck me the message. Like, why would you even say that? Right. Like, that don't need to be said. Like, if, if you my homegirl... 
Again, it was all for nothing. Like, girl, you gonna stay? You my homegirl, you my I'm yeah. yeah. behind it i think juicy booty was taking it too heartfelt and i feel that because if i was getting come out like that i would have been taking it super heartfelt and targeted so i think they were just trying to prove an overall point um yeah you, then watch out what you're saying to that person and that's good for everybody else because like i said some of y'all said some stuff to me but supposedly it's confidential or y'all to stallion baby tweets her or whatever you can talk to me now or off camera, it don't matter. I mean, I'm just saying, you never, you never gave me that impression during the whole time. So to hear that you was talking behind my back, behind the scenes, you said that on camera. I didn't know that because you didn't. What exactly? Here we go. Yikes. I mean, and this is Juicy Booty's first time, but everything gonna come back. Like, someone gonna see that. So, I mean, you gotta be ready. You can't say something and not expect someone to come back and say something. So, I mean, you just gotta be ready to stand on your word or explain yourself. Oh, I know. I'm not the only one over here. Because I'm gonna tell you, these girls are saying you copy it. I know. Dutch Bros. Plus, we'll upgrade your Probably need to leave here at like 315. So I didn't get Dutch Bros yesterday, so I'm getting it today. I apologize that you felt that way about it, but that's not right. I don't know what you want to do now. No, it's, it's straight. It's straight. It's I'm sorry. sorry. You felt about it no more. That's okay, cool. Reaction, they talked it. They talked about it. They squashed it. They good. Period. So I thought we were supposed to keep positive, but okay. Well, it could be positive. That's fine. Just say that. You don't gotta come with all the fights. Sorry is talking very like calm. I think uh Juicy Booty is just a little irritated about the situation, you know what I mean? I have a question. Does anybody that's Aiden got any problem with her being here today? You say Okay, so talk back to Beyonce are you kidding me but I also want to talk back to Carmen either like bitch if I bring somebody that you just ooh, love so much and bring it in say the same, same shit she said to y'all 
Y'all gonna cuss and go back and forth? No, they're just gonna sit there and say, yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are right. I understand. <laughs> Oh, we're almost done. I just get upset that the fact that she's bringing y'all here. She don't have to. Yeah, Carmen did not have to put any of us on her platform. Everybody should be grateful. And y'all go make these reaction videos. And I, I, I'm not just talking about you, but like the whole boot camp thing. Why do y'all need to do that? If okay, but we should be taking the blame for the boot camp. Like, that ain't anybody's issue. I feel like all of us, we's, we's good. Like, we's Carmen's ride or dies. If it wasn't for Carmen, they wouldn't have the platform that they have. So why yeah. are they messy about it? For real. A lot of those girls don't, t don't give enough <clears throat> acknowledgement and kudos to Carmen for the platforms they right. have. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. Definitely. Y'all fans better hear her. She about to teach us some things. Like, thank you, Carmen. We love you. Like, I love you, girl. That's my girl for life. I'm gonna correct you and say, hey, next time, don't say this. Or if you say it, like, joke with it. Or, you know, like, make it in a different way. Like, Ashley's like, Ashley's like, y'all should've, I feel like y'all should've came like that. You said what? I didn't, I didn't stress it. 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 I didn't We've all been working with each other, so we do kind of see a different side of each other. So for the way that you came out, I don't know you personally, you know what I mean? But I do know Russia, I know all these girls just because I'm working with them. So you're setting the tone, you're setting the platform that right. this is Carmen's But not everybody's gonna sit there and be like, hey, so you did a reaction video? No, you can't no, be messy. No. You, like, sometimes you just got, hey, stop being fucking messy. And this, like, some people, you just... But I want to say that it wasn't in the ass, like, like she said, it was taken out of context. It kind of... That you're always saying, like, look, this is what you did, this is how we're gonna handle it, da da da. da. Instead of just giving her a time, being like, all right, this is it, was just taken out of context. I, it's just your approach with it, that's all, because we're a team. Oh, Kat's just over it at this point, honestly, you can just tell. should have just stuck it out to the end oh. and honestly yeah i mean it's i wish i wish you would have just stuck it out to the end because we're not gonna let that happen but when it comes to other stuff like just show me that you are down to be a cleat to be a ride or die and to know when it's right and when it's wrong and if it, i'm calling her out because you was wrong then just hear me out don't come from me and say no Carmen, you can talk to her like that. she's a grown woman she can tell me how to talk to her that's all i'm saying because now she got frustrated to the fact that that turned into something it didn't have to be, you know? Oh, everybody's gonna fight for what, though? Mm -hmm. It was nobody's case. Because somebody might be envious of you and jealous of you and will take back whatever you say just to keep you have. Right. Okay? Some of y'all have that. And people are gonna try to knock you off your seat. Oh, so she I said it this time, the glow. open to everything. If she was able to talk about that, or you feel like, oh, okay, this shit, all this shit, that, you can leave just right behind her. 
And that's that. That is Carmen's Click, episode one, season two. That shit was crazy. Let me know what you guys think about that video in the comments below. I'm sure you guys all have opinions about this episode. So yeah, definitely comment below. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Um, your girl is on the road to 1K. We're almost there, but y'all, we need to get that watch time up. So go binge watch me. If you love me, you'll go binge watch my videos. And until next video, love you guys.